How's it going everybody? I am uh, Seth Hensler here with Red Eye Garage and Kaiser Willys Auto Supply. We have uh, Tanner Martin here today and as you see this Jeep is a little bit different than all the other Jeeps here so we wanted to um, highlight this build and uh, have Tanner tell us some things about this cool project. So before we get to that though, Tanner can you tell me a little bit about um, how you got into Jeeps? Let's see, um, I would say 2015. 2014, something like that. I uh, had a friend that had a 2A, and she's always a project Jeep. Yep. I live in Florida. <laughs> okay. So there was no like off roading or wheeling or anything down there. Um, and she never fixed it, never got it going. I ended up getting it. Um, anyway, really, I never got it going either. So that kind of like. I you know, caught the bug, mm -hmm. um, and then I ended up getting a World War II Jeep after that, and just, I don't know, kind of, and then after it came up north, actually having mud and stuff yeah, to drive places on. places to wheel. Completely, yeah, caught the bug, so, um, I guess, just being around them, yeah. you know. But, cool. But seeing seeing Jeeps back in the day was always a, you know. The little kid dream, you exactly. see the cool Jeep. I was always in TJ, I always was into TJs. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, my first car was a TJ, but flatties took me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So Tanner, this Jeep has a Kubota in it, correct? Yes. And I met you a few years ago at the Willys Spring Reunion and you had other Kubota Jeeps. So you've done, this is not your first Kubota swap. You are the one who gave me the Kubota idea, the Kubota uh, swap idea. This is my all. fault. <laughs> yes, so I had my GPW, I got it from Texas, um, fixed it up a little bit and I brought it to the show in 20, that must have been 2018, maybe? Yeah, that sounds good. And then right. you had your Jeep there. Yeah, it was the first year I had that running. Yeah, and I was, me and Mike were both really interested in it. And you're like, yeah, dude, everybody does that swap, the the Kubota swap or, or the Volkswagen swap. And when I saw what you did to your firewall, I was like, I'm not <laughs> a body do guy, <laughs> don't want to do it. I saw wiring and then in yeah. my brain check engine lights, I'm like, Kubota sounds easy to me, yeah. and it actually, that's what my first swap was, okay. and it was easy to me, so, yeah. uh, you know, then you kind of stick with what you know. Yep. But yeah, so you're to blame for all of this. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know whether you should thank yeah. me or I should apologize yeah, to yeah. you. Yeah, well, and you, you said join the, the Diesel Willys group yep. that day, so then, then I did, yeah. The rest that was back is, when there was, what, 30, 30 yeah. or 40 people, and I think? And now there's was, like almost 2,000. 2,000, yeah. The rest is history. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this has the Kubota in it, but we look back a little farther, and there's that's not the most unique thing about it. So yeah. I personally have never, I've seen pictures of things like this, but never seen one in real life. So obviously this is a six by six conversion. So tell us what made you, that's what people always ask me, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Um, what made me do it is uh, I was about five, six years old, and I was riding with my grandfather, and we went past this barn, and there was like a, you know, like the old school Argos, like yeah. back when yeah, it used to be a little swamp, like yeah. the amphibious yeah. things. Yeah. So they were, it was called a, a Sierra back, like it was pre-Argo. Okay. Super old, but I always wanted one. So like every year for Christmas, I'm like, Grandpa, I want a six wheeler. I want a six wheeler. I want a six wheeler. Yeah. And I didn't know how impractical they were. <laughs> and when I was like 14 and able to like work and make money, I traded my way up to a six wheeler. It was terrible. Ran it through a uh, garage door. Oh boy. And, but that kind of gave me like the six wheel drive bug yeah. of like anything six wheels is cool. The more wheels that drive, the better. Yep. Um, and then I got into World War II Jeeps, saw the MT Tug, uh -huh. and I <laughs> tried as hard as I could to find an MT Tug, um, but there's only a couple in the country and a couple in the world. Yeah. And uh, I saw a guy, um, Ted Jordan, okay. had one that looked good. and. I've always wanted to make one six-wheel drive like for years, but I could just never figure out how to do it. Um, and that kind of just shot me yeah. out a rabbit hole of yeah. two years of figuring now, it out. Now here it is in and, the flesh. And now here it is. Yeah. Cool. So this is where the magic happens. Um, the question we're all wondering is, so you have the Kubota, then you have what, a T98 four-speed? T98A, yeah. And then, then it gets a little uh, confusing. So the transfer case, drive setup, tell us about that. So um, I, I kind of, I guess played with a lot of ideas. I was thinking about doing a an M151 MUT um, axle, like independent suspension. Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing uh, an SCS gearbox. They're out of uh, Sandusky, mm -hmm. um, and I uh, found an old video of one of kind of how um, they made it work. And then I just kind of like did a bunch of deep digging. Um, found a guy that had some math on how to make one work, and. 
got with Bob Christie and we kind of just like smacked our heads together, figured maybe something would work. Yeah. And then tried to find a machinist, which you have some machining background. A little bit. I do not. <laughs> um, so I found a machinist um, in Aurora, my local hometown, mm. and brought it to him and I said, hey, listen, I need, <laughs> I need to add an extra shift fork here. I need to add an extra shift rod here. It's so essentially it's like a, a Spicer 18 case with an yes. extra hole. So and, yes, and so you're driving case, off yeah. the PTO cover and the, the yep. original. Exactly. Output. So okay. a lot of people think it's driven off of uh, off PTO. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. So, so when you're changing high and low, that also changes high and low to it, the to both outputs. It, exactly. Okay. So I have uh, I have one shit one stick is um, middle axle. Um, and technically front axle. Okay. And then one stick is designated rear axle, so I can do high and low, high and low, and then two and four as well. Okay. So I can so do two, four, and six. So you have a lot of different combinations yeah. with four different sticks. E exactly. Yeah, because I think a lot of people, do people often assume it's just a tag a axle? tag axle. And it's just for looks. Even yesterday, a guy yeah. came up, he goes, oh yeah, tag so axle, and, cool. And I can attest, we, we went to Southington Off-Road Park, and he had all six tires spinning. And yeah. uh, it really, it impressed me just how it got around. It's like a mini deuce and a half. Yeah. Exa exactly. Very cool. It's um, and, and then three Mahindra Rockstar axles as well. Okay, so that's they're the, like a Dana forty four copy. Yep. Yeah. They, <clears throat> I just wanted a three seventy three gear because okay. you know, well, you don't know the Kubota life, but having no RPM yeah, gives you no speed. <clears throat> so. So is it disc brake? Uh, um, so it's disc drum drum. Okay. Um and. Yeah, so I, you know, 373s to kind of keep some speed up. Yeah, very cool. So having done this and you did all the work and you've been driving it, uh, if you could do anything different, what would you do? I hate that question when people ask me, but I had to ask. I, don't, I honestly, I don't, it's not that I don't know if I would do it again. I just, the transfer case was such a, it was, it was a honestly, challenge. yeah, it, it stressed yeah. me out for like a year because I had the frame done. I had the suspension, everything done. Like I was taking pictures of it back, back when, right when I finished the, the orange one. Okay. So a year ago, it was good to go. And the only thing that I couldn't figure out was transfer case. Yeah. And I took it to one um, machine shop, had it there for about six months. They couldn't do it. They kicked me down the road. Yeah. So if I were to do it again, I would probably do the SCS Dropbox. Okay. Um, or I would. An empty tug is a little longer factory. Yeah. I would stretch it out maybe another foot and a half, two feet. I do an NP205 doubler reverse okay. flipped over yeah. and then run that. That's a lot of TJ guys do. Yeah. So that sounds like a, either yeah. way, solid setup. And yeah. Uh, so that's, that's something I would do differently. Yeah. And I mean, the Kubotas <laughs> are great. I love, love the Kubotas, but, um, I don't, I don't know the T98 too, you know, like the Kubota gives, you know, takes up a lot of space yeah. and then the T98, you it's stretches it back a little bit yeah. more. So I would yeah. probably try it with a little flatty and a T90. Okay. So flatty T90 and then stretch it out a little bit. Actually with a flatty and T90, you might be able to squeeze the 205 in there. Yeah. Who knows? Well, you got, that's a winner project. <laughs> yeah, here. exactly. All right, Tanner. Well, thank you for showing us this Jeep. Um, I'm going to show a little clip right here. Um, this is Tanner yesterday or the other day at Southington going up some obstacles. And we're going to get two birds with one stone here because Tanner is also our Broken Jeep Award recipient. He, uh, what did you break? The rear uh, I, perches snapped off? I broke off? The, the spring perches yeah. on, the, uh, on the rear axle. So um, on behalf of Kaiser Willys, here's $150 to uh, fix your Broken Jeep. Every year we do this. Heck yeah. And, uh, you know, 15 Jeeps Thanks, yesterday sir. and he was the only one that broke. I was the only one that broke. And, but he finished the day and uh, we're back here it's, still running. It's fixed now. Yeah, he got back and welded Maybe. it. Maybe. So, oh, yeah. Um, we got to redo it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, brother. And would you mind giving us a little drive around demonstration before oh, we uh, pack it up? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We, want, we want all six wheels, right? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>